Mathapakadi was one of the first outskirts of the island city of Bombay. The place came into being about 200-250 years ago. Hi, I'm Hansel. I'm an East Indian. I work as a chef and I live in Mathapakadi village and been overseas for about six years. Come back to Bombay. A lot of the Portuguese houses, both in Bombay as well as in uh, Goa, you'd see a lot of them, you know, bright uh, colors in terms of greens, reds, even pinks and blues. Portuguese had made a rule that only the churches were allowed to be painted white and all of the houses had to be, you know, in other different colors. Otherwise, they would incur a higher fine in terms of a tax generated. Growing up in Madhapakari was a unique experience for me. Dad was a very good cook. One individual food item that I remember my dad making was the duck moil that he used to make. A lot of the food used to be a sort of a farm to table food. The duck moil would have this ingredient called the bottle masala, which is quite unique to the food that we make. Each household has a separate recipe of how they make their own, own you know, East Indian masala. The reason it's called the bottle masala is it's stored in airtight bottles which are not see-through. It's got three different types of red chilies in it. It's got cinnamon, clove, nutmeg, coriander seeds. It's got the whole haldi uh, and a few other ingredients. We do this thing called the East Indian uh, wedding pickle. It's a very simple, simple pickle. It's made with raw papaya. It's made with fresh ginger, saffron, red carrots, vinegar. East Indian food is a very uh, local food of the island city of Bombay. There's this thing called handbreads, which they made, of, make out of rice flour which used to be there for night instead of the chapatis that we normally eat in the evenings. It's just made out of rice flour. You shape the bread by hand. In my line as a chef, I mostly do a lot of European foods. But since I've come back to India, I've tried to learn a bit about the Indian type of food that they make. And I have used the bottle masala in a few of the ingredients that I use. Food hasn't really hit off in, in a lot of the restaurants that you see around. You'll not see a lot of East Indian places. That's ideally a dream for me to open up an East Indian food place. I think it's it's very important as a community to get the younger generation involved in the activities that we do. I personally uh, get my daughter to help me out when I'm making anything. I don't think anyone needs any help from the government in terms of, you know, funds. But I think if you make an area like this a heritage area, it will not encourage the builders to break down houses that look really nice.